Hi, welcome to this InDesign tutorial. My name is Emma and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. So this tutorial is about bringing in text to your flyer. So a few ways you can do that. In this case I'm going to bring in a pre-existing document. I'm going to File, Place, same way that you'd bring in an image or a logo. I'm going to find my document. In this case it's a Word document. I'm going to click on this and just click Open. I don't need to have anything ticked here because I don't want to replace any selected item on the page open. So I'm just going to drop that in, clicking once. Okay, here's my text. There is a bit more than what we can see. If I click on this little red icon that's got a little plus in there, click on it once with my black arrow, and click once again in no man's land, you'll see I've got more of my text now. I do want to try and fit that on the page. So with my black arrow again, I'm just going to drag out this icon here. I could do any one, but I'll drag this middle one. And you'll see now that more of that is fitting on the page. I want to change the number of columns just so we can actually fit a bit more in. At the top here it says 1. Number of columns, I'd like to change that to 3. It's looking better. So what I want to do is change my font and my size. So if I double click here, anywhere in this text, my text tool is activated and it now will allow me to select my text. I could have done a edit select all as well or use the shortcut. Okay, we've got a character formatting controls option just at the top here. So I can change my font, which is this eye area. I'm actually going to use Gotham. And I'll stick with book. I'm going to change the size and make it a bit smaller. I'm going to do 8 for now. And this one in my leading. I'm actually going to make this a little bit uh, larger. This is spacing between your lines. So I'll just space it out a little bit. Okay, I've got two titles, one here and one here. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'm going to highlight my text, dragging with my mouse. Make this bold and make it a bit larger. Okay, and so I've saved myself having to do that twice. What I can actually do is click on my eyedropper tool, clicking once here, and dragging across with my mouse over the top of my second title. And the style will carry on through. When you've done that, go back to your black arrow or your type tool, and we want to select this area here. I'm going to head up to type and click on this option because I need bullets in my file. Okay, let's clean this up a bit. I'm going to put return after this text. Go back to my black arrow. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. I do have a website to put down the bottom, and I actually do have a title to put up top here. So that will do for now. Okay, I'm going to put in some um, text here. I don't have that existing text, so I'm just going to do dummy text for now. I'm actually head up to sorry, one step ahead. I'm going to grab my type tool. I'm going to click, hold my mouse and drag out a box, just in this area here. This is where my text will flow. You can see that icon flashing there. If I head up to type and click fill with placeholder text, this is just text that I can use for now until I come up with my intro for my page. If I highlight that text, I can make that larger. It's a bit easier to read. Let's go with Gotham again. Bold in this case. And I'm going to change the color of that. Swatches. Bring my fill color my, for my type front and just click on any color here. Do dark pink. Okay, with my black arrow, I'll click off and you'll see how things are shaping up. Close this tab. Alright, I do need another large title as well, so I'm going to grab my type tool and just drag out a box. In this case I'll just put dummy text. I'm going to type it. I can't really see it at the moment. To go here. I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to do a Control or Command A. I'm going to change the colour of that so I can actually see what I'm doing. White. Let's make this larger. You can use shortcuts, but we won't worry about that for this tutorial. Let's go to Gotham again. And bold. Make it a bit smaller. And I'll make that capitals. Okay, back to my black arrow, and I'll just move that down a bit. Alright, that will 
do. Thanks for listening to this tutorial.